Hello and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and we're going to continue on our Packet Tracer series. Load in your four switch and five computer topology and you should be seeing this thing on your screen, very similar to what I'm seeing. So switch one through four and computers one through five. This lesson we're going to cover CDP and that's Cisco Discovery Protocol. And what that is, is Cisco's got some voodoo magic inside of their routers and switches, uh, most of their devices, and they can talk to each other. So they're able to see each other as soon as you power on the link and link them up and connect them, usually with uh, Ethernet cable. So let's take a look at how this is going to work here. All of our switches are already on, they're plugged in, links are up, and you notice that this link is orange and we're going to talk about that in a future lesson but what that is is spending tree has blocked that link so that we do not have a loop so we'll be talking about loops in spanning tree in a future lesson but if we go on switch one click on switch one and go to the cli we've got our command prompt there and if we go to enable mode and show cdp you can see that we have some information there. It's saying we are sending CDP packets every 60 seconds and we have a hold time of 180. So what that means is your switch. Every 60 seconds you are sending out a CDP signal out each link. And what, what that CDP signal is, it's kind of like a hello packet. It's basically saying, hi, I'm a switch, I'm here, and uh, I would like to know you. Or, you know, this is what I can do. So if we show CDP question mark, we have extra stuff that we can, we can see. We have show CDP neighbors. So let's see what's out there. So switch one sees switch two and switch three. The local interface right here says that uh, I'm reaching switch two. Uh, switch two is connected out my zero slash 20 interface. And let's take a look at our topology here just to verify. So switch one right here, fast 020, and on the right side is switch two. So it definitely seems to be uh, jiving up quite nicely. Switch one going to switch three, we're going out fast 023 and just taking a quick look at our diagram, that looks pretty much true. Platform 3560, so it's telling us that the other side is a 3560. It sees what model that is. And then we can see on the port ID, this is pretty cool. This is what the other side, the other side's port connected to us. So switch three, or actually switch two right here, he's connecting to switch one using fast 020. So CDP is very, very good. Show CDP neighbors is one of the the first commands I like to do when I'm going on an unknown network of Cisco routers and, and switches, that way I get to see what's connected to what. Now we can do some extra stuff after show CDP neighbors. We can add in a show CDP neighbors detail. And this will give us a lot of extra stuff, including IP addresses if we have any configured and also the version, the iOS version. So what software that particular device is running. So it's, it's pretty cool. Now, just to show you how that show CDP neighbors detail really runs, we don't have any actual IP addresses anywhere, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to switch two, just click on switch two, go to the command line, and we're gonna quickly configure an IP address. So go to enable, conf T, stands for config terminal. And then we're gonna go into a VLAN, so interface VLAN one, don't worry if you don't know what a VLAN is, we're just we're gonna just do this for now to pop an IP address on that particular switch. In a later video, we're gonna do much more about VLANs. We're gonna type in IP address, all ones and 255.255.255.0. Gonna end that. And just to show if we actually type that in correctly, show IP int BR, that stands for show IP interface brief. It's spaced a couple times and we have this uh, VLAN one, so that's good. I've actually need to turn it on. So go back into int VLAN one and do a no shut. 
stands for no shutdown, which actually turns it on. So it's kind of a backward, backwards way of thinking there. You no shut to actually turn it on. All right, we have some, we have a indication here, line protocol is up, chain state is up. So that means my VLAN is activated. Show IP int BR, hit space a couple times and you can see up and up. All right, let's go back to switch one. Go back to the command line on switch one. And now let's show CTP neighbors detail. Let's see if we can actually see that particular IP address. And as you can see here, let me just expand out this window. Actually, let's do this. So I'm gonna hit enter a bunch of times just so I have a lot of space. Show CDP neighbors detail. There we go. All right, so you can see right here, it tells me that there is an IP address on that particular switch. It's 1.1.1.1 that matches exactly what I typed in on the other side. So pretty nice way of seeing what the IP address is on the other side. Now notice here, I haven't configured really anything on switch one. I don't have any IP addresses on switch one. Right here. So if you know anything about the OSI model and how IP addresses work, you may be confused here because we don't have any IP addresses here. How am I able to see that 1.1.1.1 IP address on switch two. And the reason we can do that is CDP exchanges information on a lower level. Exchanges information on layer two. So this basically means as long as you have a link and the lights are on, you can exchange information and that can include everything from IP addresses to the iOS version. So you're actually able to see a lot of information on the other switches. Now, if you're in a high security field or high security environment, you may want to turn CDP off. And the way we can do that is we're going to go over to switch two first. So I can do no CDP run, no CDP run, and that's going to kill CDP for the entire switch. So if I do show CDP, it says CDP is not enabled. And so now watch this, if I go back to switch one, now, if I show CDP here, remember how we saw this and you may have wondered, what is this hold time value? So this uh, this 60 seconds, every 60 seconds, we're sending hellos, we're, we're talking to each other, but what is this 180 second business here? Well, it means that if you don't receive any information, any CDP information from your neighbors in 180 seconds, you are gonna consider themselves, or you're gonna consider the other side to be dead, and you're gonna take it out of your table. So if we show CDP neighbors here, you see that I still see switch two, it's still there. Even though I've turned off CDP on the other side, but notice my hold time is 105 seconds, so I have 105 seconds left. If I have hit the up arrow, show CDP neighbors, hit enter again, that 105 is down to 91. Notice the hold time to switch three never really goes down too low. It's at 148. And what's going to happen is at 120 seconds, it should receive another hello from the other side. And that's going to reset back to 180. It's just it. Uh, so I got lucky here. My hold time 121 going towards switch three. And as you can see, it reset to 180 and I'm basically four seconds later. So now it's down to 176. So I'm going to pause the video. We're going to wait until this hold time goes down to zero and actually see if it disappears. All right, we're back. Show CDP neighbors. I've got four seconds left. So let's see if it's going to disappear. I'm at zero and it is now gone. So switch two is now gone from show CDP, the CDP table on switch one. Now disabling CDP generally uh, throughout the whole switch or whole device may not be advisable. Sometimes you just want to turn CDP off on particular interfaces. So by default, it's running on every interface that's on, but sometimes you just want a couple of them to be running CDP. And we can do that by going into an interface. So interface fast zero one, let's say. 
So you know that CDP is running by default, we can do a no CDP enable, and this is going to shut it off just on this interface. And the reason it knows to shut it off just on this interface is because you are in interface configuration mode. All right. So sometimes you want to shut off CDP when you're connecting to another provider's device. So let's say you're running BGP or you're connected to your ISP. They definitely don't want to see your uh, CDP or your Cisco information. It's just not needed uh, for them to operate or uh, talk with you, talk with your network. All right, this was a quick and easy video about Cisco Discovery Protocol. Pretty easy stuff. Just remember every 60 seconds your device is sending information out. You can disable it from the entire router by doing no CDP run. You can go into interface and disable it from the interface by doing no CDP enable. And you have a couple show commands, show CDP, show CDP, oh, gotta turn that back on. CDP run, so show CDP, show CDP neighbors, and show CDP neighbors detail. Thanks for watching.